And you have, you are just going off of your partner's pacer. There are no rep counts on these nine movements. You just do the movement until your partner gets done with one of these three pacers. So say, for example, me and Travis are partners. Um, we can go in any order, but we're just gonna start here at the kettlebell curls. So he's just gonna start knocking those out while I would choose one of these three pacers. So let's say I choose 100 spins. He's not stopping until I get done with those 100 spins. After that, we would air five and switch. He would then choose a pacer while I do the kettlebell curls. Uh, we are going to each do this three times a piece before we move on to the next one. Um, make sense with everybody on how it's ran? Awesome. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll go over the pacers first. 100 spins on a jump rope um, or on a bike. If you are using the bike, that is your bike, remember that. 80 mountain climbers, you are in that plank position, firing those knees into that chest. And then the last one you got is 10 burpees. Chest down to the floor and then back up to the top. We do have something called the burpee challenge. It is where you knock out burpees for every round, every single movement. Um, it is a great workout. If that interests you, it comes out to 270 if you blank the board. Um, going over the movements here, kettlebell curls, um, grabbing uh, the handles on the top here. We're trying to get those elbows inside of the body nice and close. And we are coming up underneath the chin, extending all the way down. Overhead extension is our next one. Um, grabbing a single dumbbell here. Elbows in nice and tight to the head. Getting a good stretch in those triceps and then locking out the elbows at the top. Barbell curls is our next one with the bars here. Um, again, we're gonna keep the elbows nice and tight. Coming up underneath the chin and then extending all the way down. We want that full range of motion here. Um, a good way to ensure that is to flex the triceps down at the bottom. Okay, too many times we see that halfway where we shove the elbows straight backwards or we're we really using that body. Okay, only thing we want moving is those arms. Tricep dips is our next one. Finding a spot on the box here, dropping it down to that 90 degrees, keeping the body nice and close to the box here. Okay, once again, locking out the elbows at the top. Hammer curls, faster pace movement here, but as always, keep that good form. Coming up to the tops of our shoulders, not breaking the plane of our hips, okay? Making sure we're not swinging those arms back and forth. We are not ground punching, none of that stuff. Skull crushers can be done with the bars or the dumbbells, up to you. Um, if you're using the bar, you're going to have a narrow grip at the shoulders or inside of it, hinging at the elbows, going down to that hairline, and then again, we're locking out the elbows at the top. Uh, your next one is strict alternating curls with your set of dumbbell, dumbbells here. Um, coming up one at a time, twisting that hand and squeezing up at the top. Okay, nice, slow and controlled on this one. Um, there is no rep count, so remember that. So again, let's focus on that form, focus on the squeeze. Tricep band extension, um, grabbing a band up here. You are, once again, keeping the elbows nice and tight into the body here, pressing straight down, locking down the elbows. We're controlling the band on the way back up, not letting the band control us, just like that. Last one that you got here is kickbacks. Um, prefer you guys doing these on um, all fours, but if you would like, you can do them at the same time. Um, it'd be a little harder if you're doing one at a time because you know you have nothing to go off of your partner switching. So just do a couple reps, just like so. Um, elbows up above the body, upper body is almost parallel to the ground, and then locking out the elbows in the back there. Any questions? Let's get two of those paces for a warm up, let's get started.